plenty of bread, plenty of water. Scott, this is Dark Cloud. It's actually my favorite game. On uh, It's on PlayStation 2. <clears throat> it is on the built-in OX Retro Lizard XL. Oh, that's awesome, Jalen. That's awesome. You want to autograph from Tim Curry, man? That's badass. Love Tim Curry. So let me check my inventory before going in the dungeon. I think everything's good. I could use a couple repair powders. Shit. I'm out of space. I can't hold anything else. So. Uh, maybe I should sell him a couple things. Yeah. Let me let me sell him a couple things just to open up at least one or two slots. Uh, so All right, I think we're good. All right, let's get back to the dungeon. Nice. That's awesome, Jalen. Uh, Scott, if you like Ocarina of Time, uh, you would like this game. It's an action-adventure RPG. It has world-building elements where you put together each individual town. Like right now, I'm in Naroon Village. And uh, you put together the pieces to the town. So, uh, and if you put everything together exactly like everybody asks, like your mom wants you to have the sunrise coming in there upstairs window and stuff like that. You know, so-and-so wants to live near so-and-so. If you put everything together right, you get a special event. And the balls you saw just now, those are actually the pieces to put the town together. I have two people in my party right now. I have the main character, Tone, and I have Chow, the cat girl. She uses a slingshot. <clears throat> now, she can't open those balls. This is going to be the exit going out, but I got to get the uh, door key. And you get that from one of the monsters, and it's random. You don't know who it's going to be. And there's two monsters behind me. Oh, shit. A rocking off. All right. I'd rather use the slingshot with the rocking off because I could keep my distance and you could get him on a corner like this and he can't get at you and you get more hits the closer you are and he can't get at you. He can't roll towards you. He's too fat. Thank you, Beth. So, on my map, orange dots are treasure chests. That's the magic crystal. Each level has one. It tells you where everything is. Uh, each dungeon is random. Uh, the layout's going to change every time. So, if I left right now and came back, it would be random. Green dots are the atlas for putting the town back together. And red dots are monsters. 
And like I said, a random monster on each level has the key. Oh, let's upgrade this weapon. Oh, nothing in the slots. We are adding the Perido, which will increase attack. It will increase the holy power. It will increase beast and plant. We will also be adding the aquamarine, which is another precious stone that will increase sky and water based animals. Uh, nothing on attacker, endurance, speed, or magic, but it will increase ice. And let's throw a stone breaker on there. Now we're going to upgrade this to a plus seven. Nightmare before Christmas. What a banger of a game, Jalen. What an absolute banger of a game. All weapons have at least two slots. Some have three. My, yeah, yeah. Earn. Oh, rocking off. Again, let's switch to chow because. And there's a corner right over here. Uh-oh. Shit. I fudged up a little bit. I have to repair her weapon. All right. Now let's go back and get him while. See if I could get him stuck on this corner. Nope. Hey, LaShawn, uh, you asked me about the Legends Gamer two-player arcade board. I did rum and alcohol. I'm not 100% certain with the Legends Gamer two-player arcade board. I personally, um... I thought I had one right here. Let's see. Uh, no, I don't. Um, the arcade board I provide with my consoles are not Bluetooth. Uh, I do a fight stick kiosk, an arcade style kiosk. Um, I actually like the X arcade stick. And that was tram oil. Uh, for those just seeing this game for the first time <clears throat> you have a raspberry pi 3v plus and could you connect to ps3 or ps4 as a bluetooth controller absolutely you can it has bluetooth capabilities um to be perfectly honest the best controller i found for using the uh oh shit king mimic let me switch to the girl so I can kill that bad boy from a distance. Uh, the best controller I have found for the RetroPie 3B or 3B Plus is definitely going to be the uh, Xbox 360 OEM controller. They uh, connect up great and good and sturdy. 
Um, PS3 controllers can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to hook to non-PS3 systems as they were designed to have to be plugged in to the system to register to connect in the first place. So it gets a little dicey, but it is possible for sure. Um, PS4 is kind of the same way, um, but not as dicey. They fixed a lot of the uh, coding problem that made it a pain in the ass. So Xbox 360 has a sync button. Generally, you know, you go on your three on your Pi. I don't know what you're running. Are you running Retro Pi and Emulation Station? Are you running Recall Box? It, it depends on what you're running. That sounds heavy. Is that a fucking dragon? All right, let's. Switch back to the check for distance fight. Now the drag is you could stay relatively close to get those high hit points. Just keep moving because they will dive at you and they will breathe fire. Uh-oh. All right, uh, I got to eat some bread. I almost died just now from being a dumbass and uh, talking about other things, trying to fight a dragon and a rocking off at the same time. That'll get you jacked up. Repair weapon. Can't let your weapons break. Because if you let it break, it disappears. But you can repair them forever. But that doesn't mean you don't screw up and let them break. There's the key to leave the level. But we're not leaving the level because there's still Atlo on this level. And there's still treasure chests on this level. There's an Atla in this room. And only Tone. There's the Atla. Can open the Atla. Which are the pieces to your village. What's up, Scott? Hey. um, Everybody throw a thumbs up in the chat. Just so I can see how many people are actually watching. Because uh, if we get a couple people watching, I'm going to give away some free games. But yeah, I love y'all asking me questions because uh, it gives me something to talk about. All right, we got two treasure chests and one monster in this room. What's the monster going to be? Oh, it's a ghost. No problem. Got him. Uh, LaShawn, just so you know, I sell cards. I sell preloaded cards. Wow, what a coincidence. I got a treasure key right next to a large chest. What's my favorite Tim Curry movie? I banned it. Yes. So this slingshot is an extra slingshot for Chow to use. It's called the banded slingshot because it actually robs money off of the monsters when you use it. Pretty cool. My favorite weapon in the entire game is one of her slingshots. You get, I think, five other companions, but one of her slingshots is my favorite weapon in the game. It's called Steve. Uh, he talks the whole time. He just makes weirdo fucking comments and talks a lot of shit. And I like Steve.
What else is in here? There's another monster in here. There it is. Oh, shit. I'm out of water. When you run out of water, it won't instantly kill you. But it, what it will do is it'll start eating away at your health. Uh, what's my favorite Tim Curry movie? I'm sorry. Uh, I love Tim Curry in it. I love Tim Curry in, um, Rocky Horror, obviously. Uh, one of the greatest things Tim Curry has ever done, and I think it's one of his least recognized roles, is when he played the devil in Legend with Tom Cruise. Oh my God, so good. Uh, LaShawn, you just ordered No Man's Sky Limited Edition Collector Set. I didn't know you did Pi 3B cards. Thought upgrade to the Pi 5. Let me stop you from upgrading to the Pi 5. And let me tell you why, bro. Let me tell you why. Because the Pi 5 can almost, almost do what my built Nintendo X Retro Lizard XL is what I'm doing right now. I build those on a mini PC. I sell them for like 300 to 350 depending. Sometimes they're on sale. It's actually on sale right now on the website. If you use the code SPRING, you're going to get 20% off. Um, but it has all the way up to OG Xbox, PS2, and GameCube on it, and PSP. And it's built on a mini PC. Hold on, I'll grab one. I have one right here. So they're built on i5 mini PCs, which has uh, HDMI out on the back. Everything's upgraded to 5K to uh, upgrades to HDMI quality, HD quality. Uh, it has like 11,000 games on it. You can run pretty much anything on Linux on it. Windows, those things will actually run Windows 11, where I don't think the Pi 5 can. That's still up in the air. The Pi 5 is good, but it's nowhere near what uh, the mini PC is yet. Uh, it's going to take a Pi 6. Uh, if y'all hold on just a second, I got a phone call. Hey, Brian. Hello? Okay. All right. Uh, so the Pi 5 looks really cool, but a mini PC is still better. And hold on, I got to send a message now. Somebody keeps calling me. Um, yes, yeah, someone has called me three times. People don't usually call me. It's a customer, though. That means I have to take it. Because Bill ain't going to ignore people that spend money with him. That's what pays my bills. Right? If I ain't selling, I ain't eating. Hey, Dragon, let's get it. Like I said, the dragons are tough, but if you keep moving in a circle and don't get too close to them, you can stay close enough to get some of those five and six uh, hits. 
But you got to keep it moving. Hello? Hello? Hold on a second. Let me... Hello? Okay, yeah, I'm live streaming right now. They can't hear you, but they can hear me. What's up? No, I'm, I'm live streaming playing a game on YouTube. No, no, I'm taking a slight break from fundraising right this minute, to be honest. Uh huh. When are you going to be back? Next Friday. All right. And what state are you in? Illinois. Right, right. Um, I'll send it out Wednesday. That way it'll arrive Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, we did pretty good. Um, I think overall, between the multiple fundraisers, we raised um, almost $4,000. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, where are you going on vacation? Oh, nice. Dude, I'm from New Orleans, so I've been to Panama City and Florida a bunch of times. Oh, so they're not far from where I live now. Yeah. Yeah, dude, like, it's crazy because I live now, I grew up in, in the city, but I like now I live out in the middle of no, yeah, I'm in New York. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I, but, yeah, but now where I live in the middle of nowhere, I don't have, like, any kind of problems or anything. And uh, people tell me all the time, hey, like, they need tr they need uh, tracking numbers and they need to watch them constantly because uh, they have porch pirates in their area. And people just steal stuff off of porches. And I'm like, man, that's crazy. Sometimes I don't take the keys out of my car for a week at a time. My wife yells at me. She's like, don't do that. And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. I'll I'll take care of that for you. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks for the call. All right. Bye. Sorry, guys. I usually don't. Uh, you know, hey, if, so, if I have a customer and he's leaving to go out of town, so he wants me to hold his shipment for just a couple extra days. Um, Whatever my customers need. If it, if I could do it, I try to do it. Hey Scott, have a great night, man. Uh, 
All right, let's do some city building. Let's do some city building. All right, we got the hag's house here. We should have everything now. We should have all available pieces because I think the next thing is the boss battle. And uh, I think I'm pretty much ready for that. So is this the hag's house? No, that's on that's house. Where's the hag's house? There it is. Bloop. So let's go see her. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, GameStop will get you, man. Yeah, it, it's got a lot of the same elements as Ocarina of Time, Jalen. Uh, probably one of the reasons I latched on to it so hard. It was easy for me to get into because it had similarities to one of my favorite games. She'd like a bench and jars. Nice. I have a bench and jars for you, old lady. Old lady. And she's got skulls on her shit. Live again? Yes. What up, Bash? This is PS2, LaShawn, and this is on my uh, Biltendo X Retro Lizard XL. I have PS2 games on it. Uh, because of the size of the games, I had to handpick games for GameCube, uh, OG Xbox, PS2, PS1, Dreamcast. I had to handpick those games because of the larger file sizes. But, um, yeah. So I made sure to get games that I always really enjoyed playing that I thought were really good games or games that are universally beloved and maybe some of the more expensive games that you want to play, but you couldn't afford to pay $500 for a game, you know, like this console has uh Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness and that's like a bash you can if you know what you're doing <clears throat> no i did not include that jalen so she's gonna let me store stuff at her house i think which is amazing uh that'll clear up my standing inventory i could store all my gold here Bash, yes, I love Dark Cloud. It's sucking me right back in. Actually, I can't play for a ton longer because uh, my wife's going to be coming home and Bill's got to vacuum the living room because she asked me to do it before she got home. Uh, a stream playing what now? Oh, uh, a stream playing Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll probably play most of the way through this one on stream, if not all the way. So let's put some stuff out of my inventory. Always the manual. I don't need the manual. Um, take a look at this stuff. Let's organize all this, see what we got. Keep all right, that's cool for now. Okay, yep, cool. And as you get further on. Yeah, I know you love Dark Cloud Bash. Ask what's up. 
Who doesn't? Am I right? Everybody knows I sell games and emulators for a living on buildtendo.com. Shameless plug. <clears throat> Where everything is on sale in the Buildtendo Labs category. That's all my emulation systems right now. For uh, if you use the code SPRING at checkout. Anyway, anyway, I've never sold a copy of this game. Never. Every time I get a hold of one, I buy it. And then I just give it away because I want people to play it. All right. I don't remember what I got to do to beat this guy, to be honest. I don't have a key for this door. I think I got to finish putting the town together. Yeah, I do got to pay those bills. That ain't no joke. Because Lord knows I'll never make a pity streaming or making all this content I make. And I'm okay with that. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes I get so into this that uh, I forget to say, hey, man, I got to sell some stuff because <laughs> that's what pays the bills. A versatile girl. So I would assume it's Alnette since it's her house. Has a big sister who's a great chef. And this is going to be their pet llama. Now. Is this her house here? Yes. So let's go there. Uh, we dropped some stuff. So maybe there's a treasure chest around back. Always check. Always. Because it's cool to pick up free stuff. All right, let's talk to on that. All right, let, what's a good PS2 controller option? Um, man, if are for playing on the Pi, I'm actually using. On my console, uh, uh, Xbox One controller, I find it's probably the most versatile all-around controller for use on everything. Uh, but if you're talking about on PS1, PS2, they have wireless controllers on Amazon that are pretty decent. I mean, they're not expensive. Like, they're decent enough that, like, I think they're, like, $15 each, and when they stop working in six, eight months, you can just get another one. I didn't read what she said. She wants a lamp. Okay. Let's go see what her little brother wants. That way. Oh, treasure chest. Dino Slayer from a sword. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Plant buster from my sword. Uh, I don't know where the little brother's at. Um, LaShawn, you should get in touch with me because I can send you. I sell. It's not listed on my website, but I actually sell a flash drive that you just Plug into that bad boy that has a ton of games on it. So, for your PS2. So, hit me up. I don't know if you know how to get in touch with me. Hmm.
the flash drive just goes into the front of your PS2 and you're good to go. Bash, I sell some awesome shit, dude. Man, y'all got to fuck with Bill. <laughs> Bill Tendo Labs ain't no joke. Ah, uh, Jalen's back. All right. Dran's Windmill. That's going to be a torch. And a sign. Man, I see a treasure chest from here. See it? Right there? And there's one there, too. What's up? I didn't... I ain't never noticed a, a treasure chest from up there. In Giorama mode, that's awesome. What up? Coraline? Absolutely. Does the flash drive have rule of rose on it? Of course it does. It's got cool on also. My uh my retro lizard XL has rule of rose on it. That that was the key to get to the boss. Let me get all these chests. Good Lord, there's a lot of them around here. Good Lord. Oh, man. Um, Michonne, well, do you have Facebook? Do you have Instagram? Get that fluffy donut, boy. Awesome. Uh, if you have Facebook or Instagram, let me know. Sweet. Oh, you had to grab a snack because your blood sugar dropped, Jalen? Dad, I, I get that. Oh, look, treasure chest. Whose house is this? Oh, that's my own house. I ain't been home in a while. Gord. You have Facebook. Uh, look me up on Facebook. Just Bill Tendo. I have a business page. You can message there anytime. Guys, because I'm streaming and I don't want to uh, quite take forever, I might cheat and look up the proper layout for the village in order to get uh, in order to get the special event instead of piddling with it because otherwise it's going to take me a while, you know. So don't be mad at me if I do that. RG 353P. No, but I do have a uh, pre build for Embernic um, 35XXHH. I mean, XXH, which is 
this, this one. I have a pre-build for this one. It's listed on my website as a quest, uh, as the card for quest. Um, I have a build for the Embernic model you're asking about, the 353, I believe, because they're good consoles, but the stuff that comes with them, the card that comes with them is absolute trash, without a doubt. Um, even the cards give out in a very short amount of time. Um, I have a different console that I did a build for. It is the Miu Mini. All right, let's go to Laura's house. We got to ask a question. Oh, well, let's go to All Nets house first because it's right here. And uh, we got to ask the little brother what he wants. So it'll let us place the last item. Up. Oh, there she goes. She wants the lamp. Not a problem. Let's give her the lamp right now. Done. This house will be finished. We'll get a mini. It'll trigger a mini event. Nope. She already asked for the lamp. Damn it. Uh, we got to go find the little brother. Damn it. I forgot she already asked for the lamp. Android Linux setup. Um, uh, I like using, uh, Batacera Linux. Although on a Pi, it's not ideal, but for a lot of other stuff, it is. No problem, Carl. Bill got you taken care of right now. He wants a storage cabin. I think that's all I have in my inventory at this point is two star storage cabins. I am getting used to the way this Xbox controller controls on here. Yeah, that's true. They use basically the same board and chip set for everything. What you got for me, girl? Oh, she gives you the fishing rod. I don't like doing a lot of fishing. I do it just 100% the game. But, uh. I was never a big fisher in uh, Ocarina of Time either. <clears throat> Man, why don't you clean up your house? You got dirty dishes all over the table. Y'all play too much. So after I trigger an event, there might be a treasure chest in the house. There's not. All right, let's get out of here. What's the difference between the X and the, the Retro Lizard and the Retro Lizard XL? Good question, Bash. Hey, Great Cluttered Desk, how's it going? Uh, the, X, the XL... Also has PSP, GameCube, OG Xbox, and PlayStation 2 on it. The regular model, the base model, does not. I'm playing Roblox. <laughs> no. 
Never played Roblox. Uh, whose house was it on that? So, uh, Bash, the XL system has newer systems up to the PS2. But other than that, they're identical. It's the same machine, it's, and it has double the hard drive, obviously, because those game files are much, much bigger. I forgot whose house I'm going to on that. That's my house. I think it's Laura's house. Ooh, look at that little chest. You s <laughs> hey, y'all want me to give away a game? Dran's feather, nice. Mine should be about ready to break. Now you can go fishing in there. Anyway, let's go back to the dungeon and do this boss fight. I... Um, so, Bash, to add games to my system is... I don't want to say difficult, but... You need a look. You need to be able to understand uh, how Batasera builds work on Linux. If you already know that, it's fine. If you don't, you're gonna have problems. Um, some of my other systems are easier to add games to because it's not uh, a pre-flashed image. It's, it's not a flashed image, so it's it's uh, static and it. It's easier. Um, but like if you're my ever my Nintendo 64 Everdrive cartridge. So it's easy to add and remove games from that. Uh because it's not a static image. That <clears throat> dude. Again. They're built on mini PCs. You can leave that hooked up all the time.
All right. All right, guys, we ready to do this? Bill is going after the boss. I haven't bought. Yes, he constantly runs out of water, Reggie. <laughs> uh, I haven't done this boss fight in probably like two years now. So let's see how I do. Um, and Reggie, this is my favorite game, by the way. I've, I've, oh, it's ridiculous. But I'm not a great game player. I tell people that all the time. I'm not like good at games. Uh, I just enjoy playing them. I don't think it's necessary to be a great game player to enjoy them. All right, if I remember right, we want to use chow and then, ah, I got to get the back legs. Is it the back legs? Ah, shit. Wait. You know what? Before we do that, let's give him this donut. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. I was too close. I might have should have made sure I had more bread before I got into this fight. And I don't think I have enough.
I'm not understanding. I got to get close enough to hit him with my sword. Well, she's done. All right. Mm, I got... I don't think I could beat Dran with just him. I think you need a combination of the two. Let me see if I have something I could throw at him. I might have to come back in a minute and try this again. Let me see if I got I got some bomb nuts. I don't know if that's going to help. And uh, some throbbing cherries. All right. Sorry, guys. I need a supply better. Come back. It's been a while. Not surprised I didn't get it on my first try. All right. Plenty of water. Couple more repair powders. All right. Also, let's do this. Uh, nope. Chow needs that fish candy. That makes her a little stronger. Where is it at? There it is. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I'm going to go vacuum in just a minute, man. <laughs> um, y'all throw some thumbs up in the, in the comment and I'll 
give this game away. Hold on just a second. This is how we're going to do it. All right. Uh, I don't know how to give the game away. I don't have even have a coin that I could flip. That's whack. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that is there. And this is auto repair pow powder. Okay, so these two you want in your active inventory, like so. Didn't I buy some bombs? Yes. So... Let's go. We ready. We ready? We ready. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. All right. If you want to be entered to win a free Nintendo 64 game, uh, throw the number one in the chat. That way I know how many people we have. Oh, shit. So... What the fuck?
No better. This is one of those boss fights that just take forever. You just got to. Pay attention and try not to do nothing stupid. That's it. Got him.
Can't afford unlimited did it. Sorry, I stopped paying attention to the chat because I was trying to progress in the game. <clears throat> so I do know this if you spend more and more time making your weapon stronger and stronger, um, uh, then you can knock him down pretty easy because maybe just one or two tries if you make your strong sword strong enough. Because I've made swords strong enough to knock out the Dark Genie, which is the final boss, in one hit. All right, now I'm opened up to the second area. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to go there in a bit. He's going to teach me a maneuver. It's like a tornado sword thrust. Um, But it's 8 o'clock, and I'm going to have to go here shortly, so... After this cutscene and stuff like that, then we're going to shut it down. But I just wanted to complete this level. So, it, to play all the way through this game and experience everything it has, you could easily put 70 hours into it. And that's great for a PS2 game. That's a world map. Why is Owl Forest is the second dungeon? All right, so I'm going to save my game right there, and I'm going to get off of here, guys. So, so far to complete the first board out of like, like six or seven, I believe. We have seven hours and 40 minutes. Awesome. Hey, thank you. Uh, let me give this game away real quick. Uh, we have three people. Uh, I think Jalen jumped off. So we're going to say LaShawn, Beth. Um, LaShawn and Beth, each of y'all pick the number one or two, and you can both pick the same number. It doesn't matter. Just say one number between one and two. No? Yes? No? All right, it's good. I'll just end the stream. No problem. I was going to give one of y'all a game. You know what? I'll give you both a game. LaShawn, get in touch with me through Facebook on the Bill Tendo page uh, and give me your address. I'll send you a free Nintendo 64 game. Uh, Beth, you, I'll, I'll send it to you. You're good. You're good. Uh, I'll send you both one. It's not a big deal. I have a whole box here. So... Um, LaShawn, get in touch with me through my Bill Tendo business page. And I'll hook that up for you, buddy. All right, y'all have a good day. Thank you.